Welcome to the Inu Binu Shaving Channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm back on the bevel blade shaving system. I did a special shave yesterday uh, in memory of my dad and I'll put that link in the description below. This will be my seventh shave and the last shave using the bevel blade system and a review of the system will be coming up in another video. Those just tuning in, I've been using the bevel blade, I've been using the bevel razor, the bevel face wash, the pre-shave oil, the bevel post-shave balm, and the moisturizer. I've been using bevel, 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 everything. Yet today, I want to do something different. I want to change the handle of the razor blade uh, for this last shave. Not that there is anything wrong with this slim, chic handle, yet I'd like to show you that you can interchange the handles as you see fit. If you want a more textured grip, you could do so. I have here a handle from West Coast Shaving. It's the 110S. It's three inches in height. It's 110 grams. It's stainless steel construction with a textured handle. And the way that I like to change the handles is using a leather sheath. Uh, this one is made by Rockwell. So I like to put a razor in the sheath like so. Okay. And then I like to remove the handle like so. Pretty safe to do it this way. And you have a sheath that protects the razor's head. And you don't even have to worry about, you know, your child accidentally getting his hands on this razor and the, the sheath will, you know, protect his fingers. And to add on to the handle, I would push the razor head like so, like pushing toothpaste until you get to the knob. Okay, there I'm at the knob. Uh, then Turn the handle. And we're all set. Ready to shave. Get the priming oil. And this will be another silent shave. Well, that ends the shave. Thank you for tuning in and join me next time. This is episode 10, the final shave of the bevel blade.